Hello guys, welcome to Next Gen Learning. I am Sijish. This video we will see how to download and install and then configure Google Cloud SDK. So Google Cloud SDK provides the libraries and tools for interacting with the cloud services. So you can install this uh, software, I mean the Google Cloud SDK in your laptop or desktop and make use of the commands and services that helps you to connect uh, your Google Cloud services. If you look into this product, it provides uh, commands, okay, so certain commands like uh, G Cloud uh, commands to uh, deploy, interact and manage Google Cloud resources. And G Cloud itself has a lot of sub commands options available, so you can make use of that. Second is, it provides some libraries. So you can make use of these libraries from your Python, Java, etc. Okay. And third option is like it provide uh, the specific commands uh, for certain services. Say for example, if you have uh, some something like a service specific, I can write it as service specific commands. Say for example, BigQuery provides the services BQ, which we can use for interacting with the BigQuery services. GSUtil, Google Cloud Storage uh, uh, service like a GSUtil, etc. So that is the service specific commands. And the third is, uh, sorry, fourth is a local uh, service emulator. Okay, local emulator for certain services. These services include like Cloud Spanner, uh, Spanner, uh, Bigtable, uh, PubSub, etc. And lot of lot of services. I mean, so you can test these services locally by emulating. So if you install this ADK, as, I mean uh, SDK, you will get this op uh, I mean, options. Like the first is the commands to interact with the Google Cloud services. Second is the libraries. You, if you are writing a code in Python or Java, you can make use of these libraries. And then certain service specific commands like a BigQuery commands, uh, GSUtil commands, etc. And then uh, fourth one is some local uh, service emulator. So instead of deploying the resources and testing it in uh, Google Cloud Platform, you can locally emulate certain services like PubSub, Google Cloud Spanner, then uh, Bigtable, etc. So now we will see how to deploy this resource. So from this page, you can uh, copy the link. So if you look here, so it support various operating system like Windows, Ubuntu, Mac OS, etc. So choose the operating system matching with your current uh, operating system version. So in my case, I'm using Windows one, so I can copy this and execute, or you can just click here to download and install. I'm just copying these commands and opening my PowerShell window to execute. Just open PowerShell, then paste these lines. So it will download this Google Cloud SDK installer and then start installation process. So let's wait some time to download and start the installation. Okay, so accept the li uh, license agreement and then click next. Okay, so this is the license agreement, then agree. And uh, you can choose the type of installation, single user or for all user, you can do the installation. Then the location where you want to download and install this SDK, then different commands like bundled Python, beta commands, etc. I'm choosing the beta commands also, then install. So this will download this uh, SDK and whatever the required components, it will uh, download from internet and uh, do the installation. So you can just uh, see the detailed information from here. Just wait some time to complete this installation.
So now the installation has almost completed. Then uh, finalize the installation. So if you want the shortcut created, uh, just select this. Otherwise, untick, then finish. So that's it. The installation has completed. So now we have to initialize this. So initialization in the sense, like uh, we need to connect uh, our Google Cloud service or Google Cloud with our credential. So we can make use of this command. Normally, the first time the G Cloud command may not work. The reason is the path may not be added here. So you may need to close this uh, terminal and reopen. Just closing and then reopening. So I'm just using G Cloud init. So it will do the initialization. So, uh, so once you execute this command, it will open the browser with the proper URL and where you have to choose your credentials and other details. There may be a challenge if you are executing from the terminal where uh, graphics is not supported. Say for example, if you uh, do a SSH with a remote machine and where you are uh, working, then you have an option called iPhone iPhone console iPhone only. So console only option will give you uh, one URL. You have to copy that URL and paste it in your browser and get that token and execute. But this is optional one. If you skip this option, then it will uh, pop up a new browser. But I'm just using the console only option, then I enter. Okay, so this is the uh, details which I set some time back. The thing is like I have already added my account and the project details some time back. So I'm just uh, reinitializing. So reinitializing means it will uh, ch change the, uh, or reset the existing configuration. I can choose that option. The reason is I just tried this option some time back and that files are still available here. So that is the reason. So reinitializing means it will reset this default settings and I, it will ask me to type again. So this ID also already added. So maybe the first time you need to add your ID. So I'm just choosing the second option like login with a new account. So this is the one you need to copy and paste it in your browser. I'm just copying this entire string. Copy this. And uh, so I've already opened incognito mode browser where I log in my cloud service. And it's asking me to choose the account which I need to log in. And then uh, allow this. This is where we are authorizing your cloud SDK to access your cloud service then accept and uh, hit this hello then copy this uh, code so this is the code you need to type here and then enter so it's saying like you are login as this particular user so this is the login and uh, once you added your id so you need to choose a project so project is something like a container or a logical grouping of your resources so you can have multiple projects created and you can place your resources under that project. So I'm going to add my existing project I, I, or else you have option to create a new project. So I'm not creating a new project. I'm just adding my existing project. This number you need to choose. Do you want to configure the default region and so on? So I have explained what is region, zone and geography in my previous video. So please watch that video. So if you want to know more about the region and so on. So I'm not setting any default region. Again, it's up to you to choose your default region or else you have to specify the region uh, and uh, so on name during the deployment. So I'm just typing as no. Okay. So uh, this that's it. So we have uh, done the setup of uh, Google Cloud initialization. 
like uh, your user id everything is added here and your default projects and other settings and uh, next time uh, okay you can just veri verify this g cloud auth list so this will list the account and other details okay so this is the active account you have and uh, the next time maybe after some time so this login expire and you have to choose g cloud auth login option to login again so again if you don't want a browser to be launched if you have a, you have an option to no launch option okay so no uh, sorry no launch browser so it will not open or pop up the browser instead so you have to copy and paste that url and get that verification code so now we have successfully uh, downloaded and installed google cloud sdk and then we did the initial setup for connecting to our google cloud service using uh, g cloud init commands so if you want to change your uh, login id or your default projects or any settings you are okay to type this uh, g cloud init command again so that you can change the default settings there are a lot of other commands also available in g cloud so that we will learn one by one in the upcoming videos thank you for watching this video if you have any questions so please use the comment box to type your comments i will try to address that soon also if you have not subscribed so please do subscribe and give me a like if you like this content thank you bye